Key Video Productions. Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Western New York and Southern Ontario's favorite restaurant and cooking show. Come dine with me, Western New York. Brought to you by Artisan Kitchens and Bath, Buffalo Hotel Supply. And one of my favorite steak houses, Russell's Steak Shops and More. We are so glad you joined us today because we have some new recipes and cooking techniques that you're gonna wanna stick around for. And he's back with us again. Steve Tasker joins us this morning on Sizzling on the Gridiron segment. And I love those Sizzling on the Gridiron segments, Russ. You know, they have some great recipes with Chef Michael DiPaolo. Plus, you know, we see those football players that we're really just used to seeing run up and down the field and tackle people, but we see their personal side, don't you agree? I agree with you 100%. I never realized they had such much talent. These big guys hold that frying pan, for God's sake, so mighty it made them look a little, like a needle in their hand, you know? <laughs> but you know, you figure if they can figure out that playbook, they can figure out what's going on in the kitchen, right? You're 100% right. And we also get to see what they're doing in the community. A lot of them have um, charities and, and special organizations that they work with, and that's really nice that they're giving back as well. Definitely, I agree with you 100%, Jen. And you know what? We are also going to meet some celebrity chefs. We have Chef Art, Chef Krista, and Chef Marco. How you doing, Marco? Coming up a little later, we're with the Solanis in the beautiful rolling hills of Ellicottville. Art's gonna be making his frou-frou table, Krista's gonna be doing roasted leg of lamb, and I'm gonna be doing spanakopita. Don't miss this. Did you know that you can actually consume 12,000 calories a day and still keep your body in tip-top condition? We'll tell you who does this and what foods are best if you're training as a competitive athlete. That's coming up a little bit later on your Hints for Your Health segment. So you're actually gonna let the secret out of this dish? Yes, our pasta con vodka, 15 years. We're finally gonna let you know how to make it at home. Stay tuned. Oh, you mean I'm gonna be able to finally make his pasta con vodka at home? Oh, I love that dish. You know what though, the only thing is, it's never gonna be as good as Orazio's, so I'm still just gonna to have to go to the restaurant. You'll never beat Orazio, dear. If we do, we gotta take Orazio's restaurant over if you're that good of a cook, then. <laughs> All righty. I think you're right, Russ. Right now, the part of the show you told us you're looking forward to every Sunday morning, our home invasion. Ellicottville is a great place. We came to Ellicottville because my parents have a home here and we love to ski. You're able to raise your children with the children of your friends, so you kind of grow up with an extended family. What makes Ellicottville special is it's kind of far away from the city, so it's very peaceful. My favorite part of coming out here is staying with my cousins and going skiing. This is a family compound and all the children, uh, grandchildren can all stay in the house. We came upon this home and loved the outside, but when we came inside, we realized it really needed a lot of updating. It was quite small for a family of seven. We enlisted the help of Julie from Artisan Kitchens. She went to work and did everything we could want in our kitchen, and it feeds our family, and we enjoy the space, and it just works really well for all of us. My grandmother, Nika Georgettis, uh, she died recently at 100. She came to this country in 1931, and she was very proud of her background. Um, my mother was a pillar. She was so strong. I remember her every single day. I remember the strength in family. Our best memories are probably of her food. We just really value those meals and those times together, and my mom has kept that tradition going. She really has passed it down to my sister and me and the other grandchildren, and so we're having a great time. I think what we're looking to accomplish today is just to build a great memory with my mom and her grandchildren and a fun time with our daughters. You guys are gonna love this place. Ellicottville is so beautiful. We're here in the fall. Look at the trees. Are we almost there? Calm down. Krista, come on, hurry up, get up that hill. How much We're longer? Almost there. We are almost there. You should have brought a calendar instead of a watch. 
Wow, that service. Thanks so much. Marco. Let's do this. Let's go. When I first met Danielle, she really um, loves tradition. We came from a very strong uh, back Greek background. I was really excited about, you know, lamb, and we served it with a port wine sauce and stuffed zucchini flowers with a mint ricotta cheese. Today I put together a mezzo spread, which is a Mediterranean Greek-style antipasti display before the meal, which is a gathering of all the family and friends. Today we made a traditional Greek appetizer called spenakopita. Don't tell anybody. I really didn't know how to make this. I kind of faked it really good. It's really Greek to me. <laughs> Today I was so excited. I was so looking forward to this home invasion. Roast leg of lamb. I'm going to get started right away. I've got lemon. I love lemon. Uh, Danielle, just with fresh lemon all over the leg of lamb. Krista really makes you feel like you can do what she does every day for a living, and it was exciting and fun, and I really did learn a lot. What I did today was fresh garlic and a lot of it. Fresh rosemary, I chopped that up nice and fine, added some fresh ground black peppercorns, a bit of kosher salt, and olive oil. Kind of made a paste with that. Okay, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> this is the best part. Let's rub this baby down. And then we thoroughly rubbed it inside and out with this beautiful garlic and rosemary mixture in the oven, 450 degrees, because I wanted to brown that off. For the sauce, we took the leg of lamb out of the oven, and I just simply, in the same pan, sauteed out shallots, deglazed it with a bit of port wine. I added some fresh sprigs of rosemary and fresh chopped parsley. Finished it with veal gloss, and that we served over the leg of lamb. It was beautiful. Well, you know, when I first met this family, they're so warm. I felt that the mezza that we made was a place that everybody can congregate to meet and greet. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're going to go through a little tour here of some of the different various uh, Mediterranean Greek specialty items that we had. We had probably a hundred different things on there. We had a lot of Greek cheeses, grape leaves, breads, kalamata olives, pepidus from South America, some roasted vegetables with Greek olive oil and balsamic reduction. Oh, that was beautiful. It had everything there. The oh. Meatballs, the kiftedis. How do you say that? Kiftedis. Okay, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Mmm, they're oh, delicious. Pretty good, huh? Very good. When we kind of stopped the camera for a little bit and we all just hung out and snacked on some things, it was a lot of fun. Yaya and Nikki could not be with us today. However, I hope that my spread kept the spirit alive in her family tradition because she's so proud of her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren. It will be memorable. It will be memorable. Today we're going to try something different. I'm in the kitchen with Elena and Melanie, and this family has made me feel like part of it. And I want to make one of the traditional appetizers that you guys are so famously known for. It's called if I say it wrong, please don't, don't holler at me. Spenacopita. Correct. So it's really not as hard as you think. And I cooked with Melanie and her daughter, and they actually took control of the recipe and showed me how to make it. So we start with the phyllo dough, which is very delicate, as you know. Right. And very dry. It comes frozen. You want to leave it out overnight in the refrigerator so that it gets soft. And we could do a, several strips, but I think we'll just start with two. Okay. Perfect. I was surprised that Marco was not familiar with the process, so he kind of made me feel like an expert, um, although I haven't cooked like that in quite a while. So we are going to paint the phyllo dough with the butter right on the counter. You take fresh spinach, but make sure you take all the water out, add some feta cheese to it, salt and pepper, put it in the middle and fold it up like a flag. Keep flipping it like a triangle and eventually it will wrap itself up into a nice little package. Then you top it with a little more melted butter, put it in the oven about 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. Yaya Nikki did things very differently than Marco did and she would have enjoyed watching us do this, but she would have had her own way of doing it. I was really honored that they passed on Yaya Nikki's recipe. You know, someone like me who likes to cook and is about family, that means everything. Opa! Opa! Today was all about honoring Yaya's family and how wonderful it was getting them all around that table together. She would just be so proud of my daughters and proud of me that we all participated in something like that. It was nice to be with the family on a day that normally would be a work day and just to enjoy each other's company and not do it for a holiday, just cook for fun. I haven't seen them for a little bit, so it was nice to have us all together and hang out. Well, being with my mom and my sister and the girls is always fun, and we just really laugh a lot, and it was great to see everybody together. Everyone had a great time. This has been a wonderful day. Great party. Great, great party. Wonderful chefs. Felt like family. I swear. It really was beautiful. I don't want it to end. <laughs> Come dine with me, Western New York. This portion of the program was sponsored in part by Buffalo Hotel Supply. Design, deliver, and install. We can do it all.
and by Volkswagen of Orchard Park, the only dealer that's all Volkswagen all the time. When you think Volkswagen, think Volkswagen of Orchard Park, the only Volkswagen dealer that's all Volkswagen all the time. Think that's cool? We put all certified pre-owned vehicles through a 112-point inspection and give them an additional two-year, 24,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, along with 24-hour roadside assistance. Not bad, huh? Volkswagen of Orchard Park, near the corner of Mile Strip and Southwestern. Think Volkswagen of Orchard Park. Be my guest, let us do the rest. Beautiful design starts with artisan kitchens and baths. Let us transform your kitchen or bath into the dream room you desire, whatever your style and taste. Artisan kitchens and baths can design and install your vision to perfection. Our design team will work within your budget to give you quality at affordable prices. Update your home with artisan kitchens and baths, 200 Amherst Street, Buffalo. Welcome to Molinero's. All our Italian cookies are made from family recipes passed down from generation to generation. Nobody can top our hand-tossed New York style pizza, right Dad? That's all right, Michael. Whenever they want a good pizza, we got them a cover. Try our signature dishes like chicken Molinero or enjoy authentic Italian classics. You know what we always say, cuando mangiate con Molinero, mangiate con familia. When you eat at Molinero's, you eat with family. Coming up, check out what's sizzling on the gridiron. You're watching Come Dine With Me, Western New York. And Steve is headed to the kitchen with our chef, Michael. That's coming up right after our Hits For Your Health segment here with our own Jamie Brennan. Whether you're a competitive athlete like the Buffalo Bills, or you just want to enjoy a day of recreational exercise, or you'd like to work out using cardio machines and free weights. Just remember what we put in our bodies will ultimately affect our performance. Research has showed that dietary plans for athletes should include these percentages. 55 to 60% of calories should come from good carbohydrates. Some examples of this are whole grains, oats, rice, fruits, and vegetables. 30% of calories should be coming from good fats, things like fish oil or flaxseed oil. 10 to 15% of calories should be coming from protein. Some examples are chicken, turkey, eggs, beans, and nuts. Fluids are so important, especially water. Three to six ounces of water for every 20 minutes of exercise is a good rule of thumb. Whether you're an athlete or a person that just likes to exercise, eating right and drinking fluids is a great way to make your body in the best shape to perform any activity you choose. I'm Dr. Jamie Brennan, giving you a few more hints for your health. Closed captioning provided by STG. STG, revolutionizing point of sale solutions. Steve, how you been, buddy? Doing great. Good All to right, be back. Cool. Thanks All for right. having me. Uh, pleasure. All right. Yeah. Today we're going to be doing a um, uh, chicken and tortellini pescata. Okay. So we're going to be using our, we're going to marinate our chicken. What I did is I make a balsamic vinaigrette out of uh, Ilio's Italian dressing. Take off a little bit of the olive oil, replace it with some of the balsamic vinegar, okay. and it makes it uh, lower in fat, but a lot more tasty, great for marinating. So right now okay. we're going to marinate our chicken a little bit. Here, I'll do this. Right. Okay. Let me pour this. In. How okay. much are you pour in the whole thing? Or Not what? too much, because we're actually going to cook in it. That's good. Like that? We're actually okay. going to cook in the, uh, uh, the vinaigrette with it. So you're gonna put now some normally, of this in the pan you're no, talking we're about, or just this that? whole right okay. here dish? We're not gonna use any olive oil, no garlic. We're gonna start it right with this here. Okay. Normally, would you let this marinate, you know, at least three, four hours? Okay. And, and that's just roll. chicken strips. Just chicken breast. Almost skinless chicken breast, mm -hmm. cut into strips. Let's drop in the tortellini. These are cheese-filled tortellini today. 
It's done when it floats. Is that the idea? Is how's that? Yeah, they cook pretty quick because it's just that thin pasta, but then that cheese filling in there mm -hmm. that's just got to really just heat up. So it's usually one of those pastas. It's like five minutes. And it's ready to go. Okay. Okay. This is a nice quick dish for at home, especially stripping the chicken like this. You can mm -hmm. just, you know, really uh, five, 10 minutes, you got a full dinner right from stove to the plate and you're okay. eating. Okay. Now, Steve, you have a couple of boys in college. Yeah, I have, well, all five kids, but two of the boys are playing college football now. My son, Luke, is, uh, both of them were St. Francis graduates here from, okay, from Buffalo. That, right? uh, Luke is a senior at Cornell University in the Ivy League, and he's had a great experience there. And my son, Tap, who just graduated last spring, is now a freshman at Case Western Reserve in downtown Cleveland, right? Oh, right. right across from the campus, is right across from the Cleveland Clinic. It's a tremendous little urban campus. It's yeah. been fun for him. So we're, we're excited about both of them. Okay, let's finish this off here. We're going to throw in some peas. A little fresh diced red bell pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw in some prosciutto, nice diced. Now, with the prosciutto, you don't need to add any like salt or anything because you do have that flavor profile coming mm -hmm. out of that, uh, the curing process right. of the prosciutto. The prosciutto is the salt. Yep, correct. Okay. All right. And that amazes me how quick a time this whips right up. I mean, that's... Uh, we're, speaking of that, I think we're ready to go. All right. Steve, a little red pepper. Wow, look how great that looks. And nice and colorful. That's true. That's and then we're just going to finish it with a little Asiago cheese. Oh, it's great tortellini. I love it. Great. great. I love all this stuff. And I'm so surprised it took so quick to, to cook it up. It's great. Hey, when I'm hungry, I don't want to waste time. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Right. We had a wooden deck, and we thought, you know, instead of pulling splinters out of our feet, we'll switch it and see what we could get. And so six years ago, we put the composite in. It was splitting on the corners. It's got mold all over it. It's bending and wavy, and it just didn't hold up like we thought it was going to. We thought we need to find something that's truly going to last a lifetime. We talked to the people down at the vinyl outlet, and they showed us some of the new materials that they have. If you're looking for premium vinyl decking that makes a lasting impression, the choice is easy. Call my friends at the vinyl outlet. Come in for a great time at Alton. Our extensive menu will surely satisfy everyone. Start your day off with farm fresh eggs, a hearty omelet, or a delicious Belgian waffle. Our famous chicken souvlaki is made fresh to order, as well as all of our mouthwatering burgers, sandwiches, and melts. Try our tempting portobello strip steak topped with balsamic mushrooms, caramelized onions, and melted Asiago cheese, or our shrimp fettuccine with a rich lobster cream sauce. No matter what you choose, you can never go wrong. Alton's all good. Some say it's our amazing sports bar. Others, our relaxed and comfortable dining room. And then there are those who say it's our private meeting and banquet rooms where we take care of everything. Whatever draws you to Buffalo's best grill and catering, one thing's for certain, you'll always get a great meal. We pride ourselves on our casual atmosphere with very comfortable prices. Buffalo's best grill and catering, Southwestern Boulevard in Orchard Park. Stop in today and see why we're Buffalo's best. And we're back. You know, there are so many great restaurants in our area. Each one is so unique, and each one brings with it a different flavor and ambiance, and I just love trying different restaurants. One of the restaurants that I certainly like going to is Arazio's. He always makes me a stuffed artichoke. When I send people over there, he sends me back a stuffed artichoke. I meet at the bar like a slob. Everybody's wondering, how, where did you get that artichoke? We don't make them here. I guess say, you gotta go to Arazio's. Uh, he is a prince, and you know, everything is made from scratch. I've had the Asobuco Melanese, which is out of this world, the eggplant supreme that is just filled with ricotta cheese and um, topped with mozzarella and uh, sauce, and I hope I'm making you hungry. 
You're making me hungry. I don't know. You're going to become a good cook one of these days. Your husband might love you again, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Arazio is coming up next, and he is going to be unveiling the secrets to his award-winning pasta con vodka, which he's never shared with anyone before. Well, let's go, Jay. Let's head over to Artisan Kitchen and Bat, where Arazio and Chef Art is there to teach us some great, great steps in cooking. Orazio Ippolito, owner and head chef of Orazio's restaurant. Today we're making our pasta con vodka. I understand this is like uh, an award-winning dish that we had 12 years ago that's been kind of hidden in the archives and now we're releasing it today for the first time. Yeah, we won the New York State Best Dish Award probably around 14 years ago with this and we've been, a lot of people say all the cooking shows, when are you going to finally do that? Well, we're finally going to give the recipe out for this. So they should get their pads and pencils. Exactly. Gotcha. This is our signature dish let's, at the restaurant. Let's do it. All right. So what we're going to do is we have a sauce pot here, and we're going to bring it up just a tenth. But when I put the olive oil in, I always bring it up again just because that olive oil will cool down that cool pan down. a little bit. And then we're going to throw our onions in there. Just a regular white onion? Just a regular white onion. Okay. And like chefs say at school, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. That's it. And we don't, we don't get too crazy. And you'll see a lot of the best dishes, it's just keeping good items, good ingredients, and keeping it very simple. Okay, so we're going to cook our onions out a little bit, get a little bit of color on it. Not much, though. Well, that looks good already. OK, so we have our onions sauté. We're going to add a little bit of garlic, and we'll put this in later just so it doesn't burn on us. So we can, you can smell that garlic cooking pop yeah, in there. Yeah. That's getting happy there. We'll slice up, uh, dice up that prosciutto just okay. a little bit. So we have a very good prosciutto that we use, and uh, you want to buy an, a higher end prosciutto to give the sauce a little bit more flavor. So ours is going to fine chop it or julienne it actually, and we're going to throw it right in. And it's uh, it's already cured. I mean, you can eat it, so it's not like bacon where you have to worry about it cooking out. But we will cook it out and render this flavor out of this prosciutto a little, a little bit with the onions and garlic. So it's a nice fast dish too. That's something that you can make in 15 minutes at home. Then we'll take the favorite and we'll have a nice vodka added to our dish. And you'll want to be careful if you're doing this at home because once that alcohol starts releasing, if we were to, you know, usually you can get a little flare up on it. So we're going to cook that vodka out and let that vodka cook right into the onions. And I like to do that if I'm cooking with wine, cook that alcohol right into that onion to get rid of that onion bite. And so we're good to go now. We'll add the marinara to it. Okay. And you can throw all that marinara in. This is going to be enough for like two, two dinners at home. And this is your homemade marinara sauce. Homemade marinara. And we saute, have a nice tomato, basil, onion, white wine, salt, pepper. Very, very simple. That but awesome. great ingredients. We're going to bring this up to a nice simmer. We'll add a pinch of uh, salt and pepper to this. Pinch. Some ground black pepper. Yeah. And then we'll actually put some chiffonade of basil mm -hmm. and we'll chop up some parsley into it also. You know, you can go as heavy or as light as you want. We go a little heavy on the basil, a little lighter on the parsley, just to add that freshness to it. While he's doing that, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper because I do like it just a touch spicy, but not a lot. Just enough to where you can taste it at the end of eating it. He's going to add our chiffonade basil and our, fresh and our parsley. parsley. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a simmer. And you can probably simmer this for about 10 minutes at home, let those fla flavors marry together. And then we're going to add some heavy cream and our Romano. And this is in-house. We grate our own Pecorino Romano cheese. And that's a goat cheese, yes. I guess. Yep. Okay. And so we'll add that. We'll add the heavy cream. Okay and all that cream, and it'll make it a little loose, and all we're gonna do is just cook it out now, and we're ready to go. We got a nice simmer here, and we're gonna take our pasta that's cooked, and we're just gonna simmer it into that sauce for just a few minutes, just to cook that flavor right into it. But you can see the fresh basil, the brujute, the vodka, the tomatoes, and then what we'll do is we're gonna saute some shrimp that we already have marinating overnight with some Cajun seasoning. We'll plate this up and put that shrimp over the top. I can't wait. Nice loaf of bread <laughs> and you're all set. <laughs> I'm good to go. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely fabulous. Now, if I want, I can get this in Portofino's, the banquet facility? Oh, definitely. I mean, we not only serve it for lunch and dinner at the restaurant, but you can come to Portofino's, our banquet facility, have it for any of your parties, buffet, sit down, and stop at the restaurant, Orazio's Restaurant, 9415 Main Street in Clarence. Come dine with me, Western New York. 
This portion of the program was sponsored in part by Diamond Cutters of Western New York, by Direct from the Diamond Cutters, and by Key Video Productions, television, video, DVD. Let Diamond Cutters of Western New York save you money while providing the very highest quality, beautiful diamonds. From the mines to a ring, a diamond may change hands many times before it reaches your finger. Each middleman adds a little more cost to your diamond. But for the past 30 years, our gemologists have traveled the world to bring rough diamonds back to Buffalo, where we specialize in cutting and polishing on premises. So we virtually eliminate the middleman. Diamond Cutters. We cut diamonds for their beauty. We cut the middleman to save you money. This is Tom Payne to tell you about my new burger menu. Try my new rib burger made from fresh Angus beef topped with pulled short rib meat and cheddar cheese. Or my barbecue burger topped with pulled barbecued pork. Get crazy and try calamari burger. Crispy calamari rings, chipotle mayo, spicy habanero cheese on top of a fresh Angus burger. Veggie burgers, turkey burgers, blue burgers, we've got them all. Served with crispy french fries or try some sweet potato fries at the Grapevine Restaurant, 2545 Niagara Falls Boulevard, Amherst. Be our guest, let us do the rest. That's our show for today, Jan. As always, I encourage you in Western New York, support our local independent restaurants. They love, you see you people come in and just spend a buck or two. We need all the help we can do out there, folks. And if you'd like to learn more about any of the restaurants you've seen on our program today, or you'd like the complete recipes, from our wonderful chefs, just visit our website at comedinewithmewny.com. Also, we'd like to hear from you, our viewers. What's your favorite dish that you'd like to learn how to prepare at home? Just go to our contact page, fill in the fields, and we'll do our best to get that chef on one of our shows on our future programs. On behalf of our sponsors, our chefs, and our entire crew, thanks so much for watching this morning. Anything to add, Ross? Only one more thing, Jan. Time to stick a fork in it, cause we are done. Key Video Productions.